Okay, so now we're going to have our first foray into making some beats. Um, just looking at the drum sounds that you can get in Logic. And uh, yeah, just sort of basics of drum creation, pattern creation, that sort of thing. So I start off by opening up a new software instrument. And uh, then you can either go over to the browser here and you can look at drums, electronic drum kits, that sort of thing. Or um, go down to the, the uh, channel strip here and choose an instrument. So we're just going to start off, we're going to use the EXS24 instrument, which is a sampler. And then we're going to choose uh, drums and percussion, electronic drum kits, and then just choose one from here. So it's big beat kit, whatever. And there you have it. So you can bring up the uh, command K for the little keyboard, and then you can play notes on here. Change the right, get the right um, tessitura, range. Let's just choose something a bit better than that. Let's try, let's try the classic 909. Um, C noughts, C1. Okay, that would do. So we can either record this in uh, by pressing R on the keyboard and playing it in in uh, real time, or we can uh, program it in. So to record it in, you just press R, you get your click. So I've recorded something there. Now, um, something I forgot to mention just now is tempo. Now, tempo is really important on the type of genre that you want to do. So if you want to do like a hip hop track, it's going to be around, you know, 80 to 100 BPM. If it's going to be a house track, it'll probably be between 120, 140 BPM. Trance is around 135. Um, so, yeah, let's um, have a look at what constitutes the right tempo for the right track. Um, so let's just do something a bit like um, like a soul to soul beat. So that's what I'm doing here. So I'm going to turn this up, uh, turn this down a little bit to 110. Right. Now say I want to edit that double clicking it and it brings up the the matrix editor down here or piano roll and I can change the names to drum names which is quite handy go to view um, click get off note labels drum names oh that might not work on this but never mind and you can see the well, first thing you want to do is really quantize this so we just highlight them all and quantize to 16ths well, I might change that snare sound clap move that there okay so something like that now uh, I can alter the velocity in the normal way so I can either use my tool here to um, as a velocity tool and then um, change the velocity so how hard they hit so I can have put, put everything up to as loud as I want like the snare the claps and um, and the uh, um, kick drums as well. Now I can move these notes about, I can add notes. So I might want to uh, say copy this note, use the Alt key, and I might want to bring it in here and then bring the velocity down. So it's like a more like a ghost note. Uh, that sounds awful. Um, let's try... Uh, at the end here. Let's try at the end. Okay, so then you know you can start making this more interesting. You could um, um, have some more snares, add some sounds. But we'll do that later. So that's your sort of basic groove. Um, you could separate that out into two different things, but I don't really want to do that in this video. I just want to show you um, the different ways you can big sounds. So there's there's some sounds there. So now I'm going to Command D and I'm going to duplicate what I've got there onto another track because I'm going to do the hi hat track. Now the hi hats are usually on F sharp, uh, A sharp, and uh, G sharp, A sharp, A sharp, and uh, G sharp and F sharp. These three black notes here. And they are grouped, which means that they cut each other off. You can only have one happening at the same time. So if you hear this, let's see, it's quite long. But if I can cut it off with a little one, like that. Okay, so that makes it sound more like one instrument, which is what we're trying to go for. So I'm going to play something in. So. So. Something like 
something like that. So let's record that in. One, two, three, four. Quantize that. Quantize that uh, to. So it's completely in the wrong place. I'm going to move them onto the offbeat. Let's just highlight them all and move them so they go there. And then move these. Um, So then I'd want to copy this these three bar, these three notes over here. Okay, so there we've got a hi hat pattern now. Now I've got like I can change the level with this uh, independently now. And then I'm gonna swing it. So I'm gonna change this to 16th note quint quantize to a 116th D quantize. And here, it just changes the feel. Okay, so that's uh, the EXS24. There's other things you can do with that, which we'll come to later. Let's get another instrument up. Let's get the Ultra Beat synth up. So again, software instrument. And go to instruments and the Ultra Beat. So this is a, like a designated drum machine, if you like. And uh, you can choose sounds in the normal way. So we just use a blank sound here. We're just going to use an analog percussion bank because we just want to add some bits of some bits and pieces. So that sounds quite good. So let's uh, something simple. Can we call it in. So now I'm going to quantize that. And you can see, here's the note, you can hear it playing here. So if I highlight this, I can look at that particular voice and I can edit it. So I might change the pitch. Uh, change the pitch up here. It says. If I'm feeling brave, I can mess around with the ADSR envelope. And there you go. So obviously you can add more things to that, more electronic percussion. But that's you get the basic gist of the ultra beat. Now, last thing we're going to do is we're going to see what we can do with loops. So we're going to choose a loop, um, something like, choose something which is in the right tempo. Uh, let's just reset that. Beats. And then go to, uh, let's see, we want to let's say it's something 110 BPM. So uh, if we can find something that is 110 BPM, that'd be awesome. Um, tempo, here we go. 38, 70. 110. Here we go. That's quite good. So I drag that in, and that'll automatically fit. But I might want to change it, so make it to the right length, and then I can right click it and I can convert this to new sampler track. Now, the things you've got to remember is uh, transient markers will automatically chop it to the nearest uh, a beat point, which is quite handy. And uh, make sure you change your trigger note to C1 to start the C1 because it, it defaults to minus C2, which is a uh, rubbish. A sip of coffee. Right, and OK that. And then what that will do is that will chop up that loop and put it into the EXS24, and uh, which uh, put a note on each increment of the beat here like that. So I'll turn that down, uh, just that one. Okay, so if I solo that out, so I might I can move these notes now. So that note there, for example, I could um, delete that, or or 
or might um, say have these so let's see what that sounds like with everything else see what you can do with that and there's other things you can do with that like you can um, pitch the whole thing down tune it down now with, with the excess tune it down So yeah, you can see there's quite a lot of things you can do with that one. I mean, that's been around for a long time, this um, kind of, uh, it was a program called Recycle where you could get a loop and you could basically chop it up into little MIDI bits. And uh, this is kind of a, a development of that. So yeah, that's basically uh, the, all the things you can do. Uh, you can start off with by making drums. There is one more drum machine available. It's called the Drum Machine Designer. And it's actually like a fancy front for the Ultra Beat. But we'll have a look here. So again, so go down and you see it's got a special thing, drum machine designer. And here it is. And this is basically a drum machine with individual controls. So you can add, so I could put a shaker in. Start really messing with it. Um, quantize that. Change that note, so highlight that, I can change the pitch, pan it, change the tone. And there you go, that's really complicated. So I'd only ever go with that if you're feeling very confident. So um, yeah, that's it. Uh, enjoy that. Uh, try and make a 16 bar uh, pattern, which uh, has lots of variations in it and try and do uh, the odd fill or roll as well. So good luck.